continue. Hey, what's up, Teddo? This is Comlox, and welcome to a new video and a happy late, late new year. So today, I want to talk about Warframe and its reference and design homages. I seem to notice over time playing this game is that I love finding a mechanic or aesthetic while playing and it's like, oh my god, this has to be influenced or taken from the game that I grew up with. Some may see it as an imitation or a cop-out design flaw or lazy as such, but for people like me, I'm like, yo, that's awesome, the designers did that, and it makes you wonder if the designers also have played that game or have seen that show you saw growing up and whether if it was a factor behind them designing that particular thing. And don't forget, this is Warframe we're talking about. It's known that Warframe has been influenced by many, many things, and at one point, DE Steve just flat out stated that Warframe was a brand of Canadian manga slash anime. I think that was the boldest and coolest answers I've ever heard DE Steve ever state in a documentary. So with that being said, here are my 5 design homages I picked up on. Note, this is all just opinion and subjective observation. Let's go. Excalibur's color palette. So I noticed something about Excalibur's color palette. It's very similar to Ava Unit 4 from Evangelion. If you minus out a little bit of the purple in the neck and the collarbone area of Unit 4, you can see that all three main, secondary, and tertiary colors resemble the base colors for Excalibur. I wonder if DE Jeff got the inspiration from Ava when designing Excal. Also, really really interesting side note, Unit 4 never appeared in Ava 1.0 because it was mentioned that it was developed in the US and was swallowed by a Dirac C, which is basically a black hole which the malfunctioning S2 engine a harvested Angel Organ Energy Core caused during Ava Unit 4's testing phase. It was later piloted by Kawaru Nagisa in Ava 2.0, however. Hmm, so what do you guys think? Arcwing. So this has been a long time favorite observation for me. Arcwing has got to be a nod to Zone of the Enders. The combat and the fight is seriously very identical to the combat system in ZOE. For example, the melee combat has a striking resemblance to the enemy lock-ons in game. As you can see, inputting melee command from a distance while an Arcwing will zoom, insta-dash, and attack on the auto-locked enemy. Both animations have a zoom, auto, target lock on trigger aesthetic that happens. Whoever designed this have had to have inspiration from ZOE. I'm just gonna fly out say Jehudi and Anubis Rule and Zone of the Enders 3 was almost a thing, but you guys have already know what happened to Konami and Kojima. Anyway. Dynasty Warriors. So, Warframe is about hacking and slashing through a bunch of enemies all the while using magical abilities. Hmm, well I wonder why this feeling is so familiar. That's because the first game to have had this very distinct combat setting comes from Dynasty Warriors, not the PlayStation fighting one. Even though it did start off very momentarily as a fighter game, and I liked the game, and I had a lot of fun with it when I was 7, Dynasty Warriors was one of the first realizations while playing Warframe. I remember spending a lot of time playing my custom character and trying to max him out and trying to get his endgame weapon for hours on end in the single player campaign. My favorite character from the series is Lucian because I thought dual blades were cool back then, and I still hate you, Gao Gao. Zenith stat design. So this is kind of a long and complicated one, so I hope you guys can bear with me, but I always like to binge really deep stuff like this. But this comes from Reddit user AfterFrance59, but basically after some time and use of the Zen, he speculated that the fire rate was rather odd. So this is what he said, taken directly from his Reddit post, as follows, so please excuse my pronunciations for numbers for that I nearly failed all of my math classes in school. Now, a cursory glance at an unmodded arsenal reveals that DE loves exact numbers for their hit scan rifle fire rates per second. Note, fractions are mathematically exact numbers. Soma Prime, 15. Tibron Prime. Burst Mode, 7 and 3 eighths. Auto Mode, 8 and 1 thirds. Cybus Prime, 4.72, which is equal to 4, 18 over 25th. But the zenith rate has its simplest fraction as 10 or 83 over 100, so I got to thinking this number was important. It has a 90 round mag. It takes 8.31 seconds to empty the mag. 8.31 seconds. It's called zenith, the name given to the peak position of a celestial body. Damn gun looks like a sundial. <laughs> The distance from the sun to earth is a little under 115 kilometers. The speed of light, known as C to physicists, is just under 300,000 kilometers per second. It takes 499 seconds for sunlight to reach earth. That's 8.31 minutes. Too long, don't read. The Zenith rifle takes the same number of seconds to empty the clip as the number of minutes it takes sunlight to reach earth. So number one, I love this community. 
so much that when it comes to stuff like this, and number two, when it just shows how far and how much backend design goes even to just even the stats for weapons in Warframe. Link to this Reddit post will be in the description. Amazing. Evangelion and Warframe design lore. Here's another small nod, and this one's another Ava homage. Warframes are made of biological and sometimes mechanical flesh and auric and ancient technology. Evangelions are also made from organic flesh and cybernetic parts often either harvested or adapted from angels, as in angels from the literal bible. The Tenno and Ava pilots use some kind of mental and supernatural spiritual connection compatibility in operating a Warframe or piloting an Ava. Shinji is able to pilot an Ava due to being young and experiencing trauma in his life, specifically due to the loss of his mother at a young age. While the Tenno, when awoken, are guided by a mother figure called the Lotus, I found this to be extremely interesting in how similar and maybe even how parallel the lore design is coming from Warframe. All the more of why I love Ava and Warframe. So that was episode 1 of Top 5 Warframe Homages. I really enjoyed making this video. The reason why I did this is because I don't really see anyone talking about design and really back and weird stuff like this on Warframe. And sometimes I just can't stop or help myself from calling out uh, design references when playing this game, and after so many years of playing this game, I continue to find incredible nuances and homages till this day. So if you found this video to be fun and oddly informative, please like and sub, and any more ideas on this series, please leave a comment down below. I read everything. See ya, Tano!